let's start sewing. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to assemble the bra cups as well as the quarter cups, both the cover as well as the polylaminate foam. I will be loosely following the written instructions, but they might be a little bit out of order. I will also be giving you some tips and tricks uh, that you can't find in the instructions, and that's the great thing about sew-alongs like these. Um, I also have examples of the finished product because I think that as I'm demoing or showing you what to sew, it's really helpful to have an example of the finished product. So first thing that we are going to do is that um, you will need pattern piece number five, pattern piece number six, one, two, three, and four. Um, pattern, pattern piece number five and number six are out of the um, scalloped at lace. Uh, pattern piece number one and two are out of the lycra. And then pattern piece number three and four are the polylaminate foam. So first thing that we want to do is that we want to place uh, right sides together of the bra cups and we are going to pin along the vertical seam. If you want to place more pins, go for it. I usually don't use pins, so in these so longs, I'm using more pins than I usually would. Um, and something to note is that at the top of the cups, you wanna make sure that on the seam line, that the scalloped edges are matching. Because when you sew that seam, you want it to be a seamless transition um, of the scallop lace design. Um, so you want to make sure you have that so that one seam isn't ending at, at the high point of the scalp and one seam isn't ending at the low point of the scalp and it gets all funky and ugly. And it looks like a mistake because it is a mistake. Um, then you're going to place right sides together of the, um, what are these called? No, wrong one. Uh, the front quarter cup, and then I think it's the side front quarter cup. Now, it is very, very, very easy to get this flipped up, upside down. So, so, so easy. And believe me, I've done it too. So if you do it, no big deal. It's called a seam ripper, just take it out. Um, so this long edge of this kind of curved triangle is the one that you are attaching to the side front. Then the best way to, the best way to determine what side this, uh, is which side goes where, is when you pin it, and you fold it back, it will make sense. It'll be like a nice line. Whereas if I pin it the other way, it would have a funky shape when I fold it back. It doesn't really, it doesn't look like it's gonna reach the cup. Um, so just be careful at this step that you don't flip it one way or the other. Um, the longer edge, this longer edge is the one that's on the top. The shorter edge is on the wire seam line, if that makes it a little bit easier to understand. So we'll place that together. We will sew them with a quarter of an inch back stitch at the beginning and the ends. I'm not sure if I said it, but this one was a quarter of an inch back stitch at the beginning and the ends. Then for the quarter foam cups. Okay, if you've never sewn quarter foam cups, welcome. You're going to learn in a 9833. So polylaminate foam is sewn differently than um, the other pieces. Um, and when you were cutting out your pieces, you might have thought like, wait a second, like are these the same piece? They look exactly the same. Did simplicity make a mistake? Did Madeline make a mistake? No, we didn't. If you place one over the other, and I might not have done a great job. Oh, I did, okay. If you place one over the other, you will see that the cup cover has is a little bit is about a quarter of an inch wider here than the um, polylaminate foam, and that's because the polylaminate foam the seam when you sew it you butt these together and then you sew a zigzag stitch across the middle, straddling it. 
that is how you um, sew polylaminate foam. So since there is no seam allowance, that is why on the pattern, the polylaminate foam pattern is smaller than the cup cover. And to give you an example of how it will be constructed afterwards, or how these two pieces come together afterwards, is that you lay this one over that one. Now, I should have done it that way, but of course I always make a mistake in these sew alongs. Not a mistake, but this is for the other side. Um, so, you will lay this one over that one, and they should match perfectly, like that. Awesome. Great. Okay, so for uh, the, for sewing um, the cup cover and the bra cups, since it's just a straight stitch back to the beginning and the end, I'm not going to show that, but I am going to show you how to butt these together underneath the machine, um, because that is something that some of you might be like, whoa, how do I do this and want to see under the machine? So I will um, give you uh, a video of that. Okay, so I've sewn the cup cover as well as the polylaminate foam and the bra cups. Now there are a couple options for finishing the seam allowances in the bra cups. Uh, since this is embroidered to lace, it doesn't fray. I just folded it, uh, pressed, didn't press, but finger pressed the uh, seam allowances to this side and then did a small zigzag stitch. Um, sometimes I find that trying to serge this seam, it gets really delicate and my serger just eats it up. Um, and I'm already under the machine, so this is just easier for me. If you don't have a serger and you don't feel like doing this uh, because you don't want a top stitch on it, maybe you have like a beautiful lace and you want that to really shine and you don't want there to be any top stitch, you can just press them to one side. Um, finger press or you can press with an iron just make sure that it's on a synthetic setting steam is okay um, and leave the edges raw it is totally fine most uh, bra making laces that I work with do not fray so that is okay all right so the next thing that we are going to do is um, so you see how this kind of dips up and then dips down um, I like to clean up my edges as I'm sewing, so I'm just going to make that a nice smooth line down to the edge. That looks a little bit better. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. Okay, so after I have cleaned up that edge, I am going to use Odif's 505 spray adhesive. I'm gonna spray a little bit on the polylaminate foam. I'm gonna lay this over and I like to align the seams first. Then stretch this over to match it. Put a couple pins in it. Great, that works for me. All right, and then the last step in this video is to apply the fold over elastic along the top edge. Now I'm not gonna go over a full on tutorial on how to sew fold over elastic. I have a tutorial on YouTube for that. Um, but to put it briefly is that there is an indentation that goes down the center of fold over elastic. You can use 3 eighths of an inch fold over elastic. You can use 3 quarters of an inch fold over elastic. You can use 5 eighths of an inch fold over elastic. Um, you are going to put, you're going to uh, polylaminate foam right side face up. You're going to lay the fold over elastic face down so that the indentation aligns with the edge of the polylaminate foam and you are gonna sew it with a zigzag stitch on one side as close to that outer edge of the fold over elastic as possible. And then you're gonna fold it to the other side and then do another, another 
quote unquote pass, which just means step and sew it down on the right side. Um, in between those two steps, you're gonna trim back the, the pie laminate foam. I will show you this under the machine. As I'm doing it, it will give you a better visual um, of how to do this step. So the fold over elastic is along the top edge of the bra, polylaminate foam bra cup. Now we are going to lay the polylaminate foam bra cup over the lace bra cup. Uh, I like to align the seam on the polylaminate foam cup with the seam on the uh, lace cup. Pin that first. Then pin it to one side. and then pin it to the other side. Something to note is that the lace will extend past the polylaminate foam cups on the center front side. On the armhole side, depending on the height of your scallops, it might just reach to the edge or you might have some lace overhanging. Um, so that is it for this step. In the next video, we will attach the cups to the frame.